Hi guys, again, again, it's about the fifth time I've done this, but we'll get it right. This is uh, Jim Rogers, and I'm going to show you how to take advantage of products that you've purchased and don't know what to do with. You normally throw them away, but we're going to use them to start fires. And we've done this for a long time, and this is great for people that don't have gas burners. One of the reasons that we have taken out our gas burners in the houses we've lived in is because often you set the fire, you get the fire going with your gas burner on and you forget all about the fact that it's on and you're wasting all of those natural resources. So this is a way that is simple. You can collect anything. This is lint that we keep in a Ziploc bag that we reuse the Ziploc bag over and over again. We fill it with lint. It's a wonderful fire starter. These are halves of frozen food trays, their paraffin wax and cardboard, drink cups, Excedrin. If your wife farts a lot, you might have Beano boxes laying around. Raisins, KY jelly, I mean, excuse me, Mary Kay. <laughs> We've got uh, old orders, parchment paper, wax paper, tea bags, Coke rewards, any of this any of the things, and even citrus pills, once they've dried, citrus pills light real well. Let's see if we can get one of these to burn for you. It might not be quite dry enough. Corn chips are one of the best. Yeah, this one's not quite dry enough yet. It needs to dry more. But corn chips work real well if you have stale tortilla chips or Doritos or Fritos or anything like that. They're great for starting fires. The corn oil in those will burn. We're going to use today, we're going to use a cup. I'm going to use this smaller cup. Each cup will burn for about five minutes. A nice six, seven, eight inch high fire. I'm going to wad it up and make sure that air can move through it. We'll put this down here. Get it lit. And it, it goes up just like a candle, very slow and easy, so it's safe to use. It's a great way to get a second. We usually drink out of them two or three times, and then uh, we use them for starting a fire. These are stripped up or split up kindling, what I call kindling. It's, uh, it's pine lumber actually, like pine paneling that is waste pieces that are not being used. And I crisscross them in front of each other like that. And I'll put about 12 pieces in there. Move all this recycling back out of the way. We'll use those for another fire. Oh, there's a dry piece of wood from a previous fire. We'll set that in there because that always lights well. And then we will get some wood here to get this baby going. Now, first off, don't put big wood on your fire like this. This does not start easy. It's too large. You need thinner pieces of firewood. Everybody, when you're splitting firewood or you buy firewood, there's always smaller pieces. These smaller pieces are much better for this. And crisscross them. This is pieces of, these are pieces of bark that have fallen off when the wood was split. These are great. Just crisscross them in all these fashions. And then put your smaller pieces of wood on them. And we'll find one more. That might work. Let's put that there. Now let's see what happens. Our cup is still burning. You can see it here. And that should do it. And you do need a beer while you're doing this. This is my buddy's uh, Imperial Stout. It's three years old. It's very good. Home brewed. But this is a great way to recycle uh, all the products, just about all the products, unless it's plastic, of course. 
just about all of your products can be used, natural products can be used. So we're talking about paper, paraffin wax, lint, cardboard, um, parchment paper, wax paper, uh, butter wrappers. One of the best, the two best actually are paper cups, wax covered paper cups you get from different uh, fast food joints. And then also the microwave popcorn bags. Once you've dumped out the popcorn and you've eaten your popcorn and enjoyed it, save that bag, you roll it up and it'll do the same thing as this cup has done. They're wonderful natural fire starters. Well, I'm going to step back and let, let you guys watch this fire. You're seeing here mostly is the pine wood flaring up. Now that'll begin to die down, but the smaller pieces of wood that are put in there of the firewood, the smaller pieces of firewood are beginning to catch now, and then the larger ones will warm up and then they'll reach flashpoint temperature and start to burn as well. So the fly, the fire may die just a little bit once all the pine is burned, which it's it's still burning, but once it's all burned, it'll It'll subside just a bit and then the fire will just start building and as that happens as all the smaller wood burns down it creates the bed of coals you need for putting on your larger pieces of wood so there's fire starting 101 <laughs> 